Hello, this is Andy. I'm a full-time eBay seller. This is my first video. Um, just going to kind of look into how an Under Armour shirt that averages, I don't know, $15, $20 on eBay, sometimes up to $19.25. How did mine go to $52 and a penny starting it at 99 cents? If you listen to conventional wisdom, people are going to tell you that you shouldn't do 99 cent auctions because you'll wind up selling your stuff for 99 cents and you'll you know you'll take a loss on it. And uh, I've been doing 99 cent auctions all the way back to like the when Cassini was rolled out was when I first started doing it because I just wasn't selling stuff. Um, just wasn't selling stuff by fixed price and uh, I needed to make some money so uh, a couple of reasons why this is selling for what it's selling for um, 2XL size the, the bigger the size the better um, it has the symbol embroidery for Spyglass Hill which I believe is in Florida if you look on eBay um, Let's see here. Let's try it right here. Spyglass Hill Golf is something that people are searching in men's clothing. There's my video. My there's my uh, auction that's going to end tonight. Uh, it's got about an hour left. It's at fifty-two dollars and a penny. Twenty-five bids. So when, when you're out looking at when you're out looking at polo shirts, a good thing to look for is different uh, you know different country clubs, different golf courses around the country. And you find one that has you know a golf course on it, go into your app and your phone and search the name of the course. A lot of times people are searching for that. When they're searching for it, um, you know, you'll make money. Look, everybody else is in the twenty to twenty, you know, twenty to thirty dollar range. Fifteen. Um, I started mine at a penny. A bunch of people got excited about it. It's at fifty-two dollars and a penny. So, uh, pretty amazing. Do it all the time with lots of different things. But uh, for this video, we're just going to look at uh, look at Under Armour. Um, here is. Terapeak. If you have a store, you have access to Terapeak on eBay. Um, so Under Armour Heat Gear Loose Polo. These, I mean, these do awesome all day long on eBay. Um, I'm not sure. Ooh, I'm way, 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 way down the line. So what I've done is uh, I've searched these by auction only, pre-owned, and then sorted them by the number of bids. And what you'll see is I sell a ton of these. Um, you can see how that's real similar. Well, actually, it's identical to the one that we started out with. Um, so we go on to Terapeak. There's just a ton of these 99 cent auctions that I've done for Under Armour shirts. I always stick with the Under Armour Heat Gear loose ones, the ones that are earlier that are just Under Armour or Under Armour Heat Gear without the loose. I don't seem to do as well with, but uh, you know, this one sold for $22.50. This one sold for $39. That was mine, $17.50. Um, we'll just keep going down. Here's another one of mine. When you're out looking for Under Armour, look for the Heathered ones. The Heathered ones will sell, from what I've been seeing, they sell in the $30 range. That you will see some other ones. This one was a 4XL. When you find these large sizes, it's just incredible. You'll make killer money. 
Um, and I'm paying five dollars five dollars an item for these shirts most of the time. Um, in the Goodwills and the St. Vincent de Pauls in my area, that's four ninety nine is pretty typical for for polos and for you know dress shirts, button down shirts. Um, here's another one that's heather that was heathered. It sold for nineteen fifty and it had a big old horrible advertising for something. I'm not sure what that logo was. I just put that there was an unknown logo on the right sleeve and uh, paid five bucks for it. It still went to 1950, which is uh, what you'll sell them on, sell them for on average. But you know they're, they'll sit forever if you sell them fixed price. And uh, I just found that it makes more sen sense to buy them, get them listed. I usually end them on Sunday nights, like tonight. Um, so I'll start them on Thursdays. Thursdays is 10-day auctions. Um, and then Tuesdays is five-day auctions, and Sundays is seven-day auctions. And I'll have a ton of them end. Um, you know, I'll have a ton of them end on each Sunday of the month. And then let's go, actually, let's go to my account right now. So this is what I've got listed, uh, 67 items that are up to $1,349. The ones that are ending tonight are up to $1,271. So I'm not sure. Let's take a look. $1,271 divided by, let's try that again, $1,271. divided by 62 so on average I'm selling these for 2050 um, that'll go that'll go up by the end of the night um, so you can see I've got lots of different stuff most of it is you know gonna sell for at least three times what I paid you know, I'm paying five dollars an item. Some of the ones that are up at the top, I paid a little more for. But uh, when you get down to the bottom, there's only a handful of them where I haven't made it back to the five dollar mark. But I charge six and a quarter for shipping, and on average, I pay four dollars. So. I've got a $2.25 cushion in each item, so even if I make a mistake, I'm only, at worst case scenario, I'm going to lose two or three bucks even after all the fees. Um, but when you're selling a bunch of stuff that you pay five, ten, fifteen bucks for, for 50, 60, 40, all those big numbers add up, and then the bottom, the tiny numbers don't really matter all that much when you make mistakes. And uh, as you get better at it, you'll make less and less mistakes. And you'll get better and better at picking out, um, you know, picking out what makes sense. But as far as this video goes, if you went out to the thrifts tomorrow and just looked for Under Armour Heat Gear Loose shirts, you know, check them out. A few snags here and there won't really hurt anything if you just take pictures of them. But um, you know, the nicer they are and the cleaner they are, the better. And, uh, you know, you'll make money. You'll make make more money than what you pay out if your thrifts are anything like mine. If you can get them at the price points I'm getting them, you know, five, six. I mean, you could probably go up to ten if you had to. And then it would just depend on, you know, size size will increase the total um, so I'm just kind of rambling at this point I think we're going to call this a night um, but I just kind of wanted to show you what what is possible with 99 cent auctions despite what people say people will tell you don't do it you'll you'll lose money well if you're if you're using the right keywords if you're if you're auctioning off the right items like these Under Armour Heat Gear Loose polo shirts, 
Um, I'll put them in casual button down shirt category and I'll spend an extra quarter to put them in the golf category as well. And uh, charge six and a quarter for shipping when you go to ship them out, weigh your packages. Use poly mailers, they're light. You know, they cost about a nickel, six cents a piece. And you'll be able to ship these out at four dollars the majority of the time, four dollars or less. And that'll give you a two dollar twenty five cent cushion. Um, you know, for those times that you do make mistakes. But uh, here in the near future, I'm going to be be opening a Facebook group up. It'll be a paid Facebook group. It'll cost about twenty five dollars a month. I can walk you through all this. Um, just so you can see, let's see what my my last thirty one days I've sold four thousand forty seven dollars gross. Of course, eBay adds in your shipping in that, but you know I'm making two and a quarter an item on average on what I charge for shipping versus what I actually pay for shipping, and. Uh, People will pay six dollars and a quarter for first class shipping. Then just use your scale, and uh, it'll save you, you know, save you some money. You'll make a little money up above and beyond your profit just by doing your shipping that way. And uh, just want to show you, I'm I'm doing this every day. I'm not just, you know, I'm not just trying to be a guru, sell you things. Um, that you may not need but if that's something that interests you I am going to be opening a paid Facebook group where I can kind of walk you hand in hand if you've got a store with a bunch of stuff in it I can look through your store and help you decide what you might want to auction off um, so if you like what you've seen in the video you know, hit the hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, hit the bell so that you get notifications when I put more videos up. I'll definitely be putting more videos up. This is my first one. Um, hope I did okay. Tried to do the best I could, and uh, hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, go out there, find you some Under Armour shirts, and make some money this week. Take care.